Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk episode 121. I'm your host, comedian and reverend Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog. Well, hello. Hello, Noelle. We're here to talk about Young and Pregnant season two, episode six, and Teen Mom 2 season nine, episode 29. So I heard a rumor that next week is the finale on Teen Mom 2. I heard that. Um, Which, let me ask you a question. Don't you think it's soon? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know why. I guess maybe in my mind it started when Young and Pregnant did, yeah, and no, it, it didn't. didn't. Right, but I don't know. I feel like I'm. I feel like OG just ended. I'm not ready to go back down that road. I guess is OG coming right back? No, like I'm sure they're going to do specials, but then right. of course it's going to go back to OG. And I just <sighs> don't like OG. Why can't we just have one at a time? Right. Like I would love to concentrate straight up on Young and Pregnant. Yes. Same. Guys, make sure that you are joining our Patreon at P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Teen Mom Trash Talk. You get over 80 episodes of bonus podcasts, BS Not Teen Mom Related, where we talk about ourselves. We answer your questions. Also, uh, we have two seasons of Unexpected Trash Talk on our Patreon. We have tons of other bonus content. Guys, check it out. Make sure you join at Patreon dot com slash Teen Mom Trash talk, and you also get into our secret group. Ooh. And you get a free sticker. I mean, that's cool. We still have a tiny little bit of merch left. Uh, we still have shirts from May. We have larges and extra larges. We have pop sockets. We have buttons, and we have stickers. Uh, you can go to Instagram to check that out. Also, our Facebook group has the pin post there with all of the information. And that is Teen Mom Trash Talk listeners. Speaking of our Facebook group, Mm -hmm. if you would like to join it, you have to answer all four questions. Mm -hmm. One of the questions is agreeing to the rules of the group. One of them is the password. You ready for the password? Ready. The password is besties, B-E-S-T-I-E-S. The second question is our full names. That's Noelle Winters Herzog and Tracy Carnazzo. Mm -hmm. The third question is two inside jokes from the podcast. A bad example of that is I don't know there are so many. That's what so many That's people write. That's a bad write. example. And then I don't. I just deny the group. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the way that people spell my name, Nicole <laughs> Terzog. Terzog. Okay. Nicole, listen to me. Uh huh. Okay. So guys, her name is not Nicole. That was an example of not yes. what not to do. Yes. Noel, is your name Nicole? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. That. Thank you for clearing that up. Thank you. My name is Noel N O E L L E. Noel? <laughs> right? It's like N-O-E-L-L-E. Guys, it's the girl version of Noel. If you can't figure out our names, Google it. Yeah, I mean, we're there. Put our full names in there or you're going to get denied. Go on our Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it's all of these things that you <laughs> can do. Uh, you could go on Facebook. You can Google it. You can go on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. Also, one other thing, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, Spotify recently had a glitch where it wasn't carrying over all of Mm -hmm. our episodes and also for our 90 day fiance trash talk podcast the glitch should now be fixed if you guys are having any problem listening on any kind of platform you could always download laughable laughable is a great app that plays podcasts and you could search by host name and guest name I can't tell you how many people were like Spotify isn't working and it's like (laughs) what do you think what would you do right so I'm like Try laughable. Try Stitcher. Try podcast yeah, just try, addict. Yeah, try just something. Po- just try. Just try the podcast. Try to figure out something else. People are like, I heard you stop doing the podcast, and it's like, what? How about there are other podcast players besides Spotify? You could just check it out. You could yeah. Google it. Yeah, we're here. Just saying, we're nowhere else. We also post on our social medias, mm-hmm, we but post we stopped. <laughs> They're like, did you stop the podcast? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Bye. We've been getting a lot of odd requests. Guys, make sure that if you're listening and you love what you hear, go to iTunes and give us a five-star rating and an amazing review because you know what? That's what keeps us afloat. Yeah, it is. That's what keeps me going mentally too. (laughs) (laughs) So make sure you're doing that. If you haven't done that before, do that because it's our both of our birthdays today. Yeah, we have so many birthdays. Happy birthday, Noel. Happy birthday, Tracy. Thank you so much. I can't Mm -hmm. believe our 30th birthday is the same day. Uh, Isn't that amazing? And it's today. Uh Uh-huh. Wow. Look at that. Okay, it's not, but just give us a review. You get what we're saying. <sighs> Noel, do you have anything else that you wanted to talk about housekeeping wise? Uh, what do you mean housekeeping wise? Like, housekeeping is just like tying up the loose ends, like giving it people information before you start the actual content. Um, so uh, like about life or about Teen Mom? About 
about mm-hmm. our Teen Mom podcast. Okay. Girl. So about the Teen Mom podcast. So anything I want to tell you guys. Okay. One thing I can tell you guys is this. I love you, but you don't need to message me about Teen Mom. Can you okay. join the group? That's a great. I, mm-hmm. That's a great thing to say. Yes. Uh, I, I'm getting private messages me too. constantly all day long, and we appreciate you. We love you. Mm-hmm. But if you want to discuss Teen Mom, the place to do that is our Facebook group, and that's Teen Mom Trash Talk listeners. Yes. If you do not feel comfortable being in that group for any reason, you could be in our secret private group by joining our Patreon. Mm-hmm. That being said, this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp and Feels. Yay! Look for forward to that let's start off with young and pregnant season two episode six let's talk about kayla Ooh, she has not heard from stefan since he did not show up to their meeting shocking now it basketball season is over and luke is going to decide where to go to school right she doesn't want to move so okay like she doesn't want to move but she doesn't want to stay no she does want to stay but she thinks that like if he goes She's going to be upset if she doesn't go, but she really doesn't want to go. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like she doesn't want to go until he tells her that he wants her to go. Well, I mean, maybe, but also remember if she goes with him, that Mm -hmm. means that like, if they go anywhere far away, like she's by herself, she's by herself, which I totally get, but also like, uh, you put yourself in the situation. She did put herself in the situation, but I will say this, the fact that she's saying that she doesn't know if she wants to go, I kind of respect that. I don't because I think it's bullshit. I really do. I feel like any other girl would have been like, I go wherever he goes. We're a family now. That's I it. feel like she's just so full of it in so many ways. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I threw out my birth control. Yeah, well, that oh, is yeah. a bull yeah. puppy ish. Right. Isaiah gets his hair cut. Uh huh. He's super cute. He really is so cute. He doesn't look like her or Stefan. I have no clue who that yeah, baby is. I know. Is. I don't know who I he is. I don't know who the mother is. Right. Luke talks with his coach, who's yes. probably like, 10 years younger than we are yes Uh (laughs) uh-huh and he's like bro where are you gonna go and he's like i don't know man alabama's mad far and he's like yeah it is and they're just basically talking geography they're like okay cool so she's going to take classes online which Mm -hmm. is i think that is the perfect so do i thing for her Mm -hmm. i think that online class you know i go to online class yeah i do yeah and you're doing great just saying thank you so much i have a Mm -hmm. Mm 4.0 So they go out to eat her and Luke to talk about this. And her nails are the exact color of the French's mustard on the table. I can't. First of all, a lot of these team moms love yellow nails. Have you noticed? I can't deal with it. What I can't deal with is this. And I don't want to catch flack for this, but I'm just saying you used to watch watch Love After Lockup, right? Yeah, of course. I still watch it. Who was it? Was it Megan that had spoke differently when she was around her boyfriend? Yes. Kayla speaks differently. Absolutely. Around Luke. And it bothers me. Yep. Just be yourself. They get like this phony baloney accent. Yeah, and it's like, what do you do? Why do you talk like this? It wasn't Megan. It was um, Ashley. Ash. No, yeah. no. You just made up so many names. No, it was Megan. Megan was the black girl. No, but then who was the white girl? Wasn't she Ashley? Nope. What you was just made that up? What was her name? Um, let's see. We're gonna Google that. Let me go she, into the. They basement. were with Michael. Yep. Yes. Michael. Megan. They're not on anymore, right? No. I haven't watched God. Love After Love. Let me tell you, the new season. season. Very good. Sarah was her name. Ah, Sarah. Okay. Let's speaking of, let's talk about Rachel. Uh, Rachel is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love watching this family. It's terrible, but I love watching Noel. Them. Yeah. If we could just have Rachel and Jade. I my life would be fine. I'd be good. No, you like Kaya though a lot. No, no, I like her. Yeah. Like I, I actually know, but like you're talking her. about the dumpster fire. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I like Kaya because I think like they're cool, calm, and collected, mm-hmm. kind of. I love Rachel and Jade. I can't take it. I'm talking about drama. Oh, where does Rachel live again? I forgot. She lives in Tennessee. Okay. It is right below Kentucky. Oh, I know. I've been there. Jacob has been helping her with Hazley. Jacob is tweaking. There's well, something wrong you, with why him. Why would you say that? There is something honestly wrong with him. Noel. Yeah. But why would you say that about Jacob? Because he looks like he's never slept in his life. I don't know. I think he has pretty clear skin. <laughs> he has great skin. I want to go to his dermatologist. That was so, I don't know, upsetting and exciting at the same time. What? This is a quote from her. She goes, I didn't really have parents in my life. Uh huh. And she had to rebuild a relationship with her parents. And it's like, oh God, who raised you? But also I'm not shocked. Right. So she said that she wants the perfect family. And clearly she is on her way to that. Mm-hmm. Her dad just got out of jail. Mm-hmm. And... His name is Jason. Right. The baby's already two months old. So she said that DCS, I guess that's protective services, took them when she was five because her parents suffered from addiction. So her grandma raised 
her. Right. And her 12 siblings with 12 different fathers. They always do matching hair colors. It's very all nice. All three siblings. I will, however, all 12 siblings. It's <laughs> like when they want blue hair, they all have blue hair. Red hair, they all have red hair. It's just, it's yeah. so touching. Her mom has been clean for five years and she only got custody back of them five years ago. And clearly she's doing a bang up job. Yo, her mother was Skeletor in those pictures. Her mother's great. I didn't even recognize her. I'm looking and I'm like, she must have 100% been on meth. I mean, she wasn't on anything good. She, uh, but like she was so skinny. Or she actually was on something good. <laughs> no, I know. She was so, I couldn't believe it. Like I only recognized her by the ponytail. That's well, how I knew it was she, she said that, uh, she's like, yeah, well, dad's coming to see me. And her mom's like, yeah, well, I'm not going to let him. And also Rachel, honey, that's not what your dad said. Right. He said, I can't see you because I have no license. Right. So he didn't say he was coming to see you. Sorry. So her brother has a different dad. Mm-hmm. I don't know if her sister has the same dad. But she was talking to her brother about her dad. Like right. he was a stranger. She's right. like, uh, you know, talking about her dad. And then her brother's like, yeah, you know, your dad sounds pretty cool. I like her brother. Yes. Yeah. So Jacob's mom kept him from his dad. That's what Jacob says. Right. <laughs> and it's like, thanks, Jacob. Real deep, Jacob. Mom. Uh-huh. Mom kept me from my dad. And that's why I'm like how I am. That's why I like to tweak a lot. Mm. <laughs> Math. <laughs> you don't know? Uh, no, no. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Mallory is at Cotton Eye Joe's. Yes. S- riding a saddle. Yeah, yeah I was going to say riding the bull. And she comes back and she's crying. She So she talks to her friend at Cotton Eye Joe's about, yeah. uh, she's like, yeah, I'm not positive I want to keep this baby because I'm like not ready to be a mom. Right. And it's like she's talking about an unwanted pregnancy. And she's like the only, I love my daughter. I'll do anything in the world for her except be her mother. And it's like, oh. what does that mean? It was very confusing. Also, I want to point out something else yeah. that we skipped over a little bit. Rachel yeah. was feeding her two-month-old baby food from her plate. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know how bad that is? <laughs> Tell me. Because I don't really know. So I these are lessons I need okay. to learn. So your baby's digestive system isn't set up for that. Okay. And it's only set up for liquid. It's set up for formula. Okay. Like that's it. Like that's the only liquid. Not even water. Water, yes. Okay. But nothing else. Right. Like for a while. For how long? Um, it depends. You start off by like little things. Like I think you start off with like the cereal. The cereal, which yeah. is not like actual cereal. It's not like Frosted Flakes. No, they started me off on pastina. I think that was the first solid food I ate was pastina. Well, probably cereal before that because cereal is something you mix with formula. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a cereal. It's like a cereal I would eat. It's more right? like a farina. I love because pastina farina. is just pasta. No, but I used to have pastina with butter. That was like my first. Right, thing. but you weren't like three months old. Mm, I was probably like seven months old. How do you know? You remember? Mm-hmm. No, nope. I remember clearly. I also remember. Oh no, well, this my is not father true. <laughs> gave me clams on a half shell when you were four. When months I old. was six months old, I was eating clams on a half shell. I was slurping them down. My grandfather was going to have a nervous breakdown. You he remember was like, this? No. Okay. So I remember eating raw clams my whole life with my dad. And then I developed a really bad allergy. So I couldn't do that anymore. My dad used to even boast that he used to, he started giving to me at like six months old. That was like the first thing he gave to me. My grandfather was like, you are going to kill your child. This is, this is explaining a lot Uh because your body is definitely not set up. No, I know. And he couldn't believe that like it worked. Uh, It didn't. (laughs) I don't know if you've seen you, but it didn't work. <laughs> Guys, do you think I look like a clam on a half shell? <laughs> you seem very clammy. It didn't work. I don't know. Listen, it did work. Maybe it, maybe it built my immune system. No, yeah. that's not how it works. But I'll tell you, because somebody in the group was saying that her mom or dad was feeding her something like sausage or whatever when she was like six months old. And I'm like, yo, my dad was feeding me raw clams. Okay, so... Uh, Baby's main drink until 12 months of age is formula. After this age, you may offer full cream cow's milk from a cup. And then after your baby's 12 months old, it says it's best to stop using a bottle. Shut up. That's so stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, I don't even know how old I was, honestly, when I stopped having a bottle. I don't remember. Like, obviously, I don't remember, but I don't know. I never asked. I still have a bottle. So if you watch Vanderpump Rules, you would know that this girl, Lala, still drinks out of a bottle every night. I don't know why. She seems okay. She lays in bed and drinks out of her bottle. Um, mm-hmm. When can you give a baby solids? Okay. 
<laughs> clams on a half shell. When can you give a baby clams on a half shell? My mother will vouch for me on this. And I know that she's an EDP, but she will vouch. Do you know that even water shouldn't be given to like six months of age? Let me ask you a question for real. Why? Like why? What is that problem? Because water, I mean, everyone should have water. No, well, there's water in breast milk. Ah, kind of like there's water in vegetables. Right, because, uh, at so, okay, it's best not to give your baby water before six months. At this newborn stage, breast milk or formula meets every nutritional need for health and development. Plus, you don't want to fill your baby up on water since they might not be hungry for uh, feedings and it might cause your breast milk supply to diminish. Interesting. Yeah. It's like there's just so much to learn about this stuff. Yes, there is so much to learn. I hope you learn. Such it. a fucking expert. You're gonna be such a clam. Yeah, I'm gonna be such a clammy clam. <laughs> you need to uh, prepare yourself for giving birth, and I know that you've been having a ton of anxiety. For- mm-hmm. And you know what is great for anxiety? Therapy. Therapy. Noel and I have been using BetterHelp online counseling now for so many months, and we are cured. No, we're just kidding. Yeah, no, uh, but we're better. We're definitely <laughs> better. Yes. It was a very good help. Yes, absolutely. To use BetterHelp. Yes. BetterHelp was kind of like really helpful for me. Like I had a hard time a few months ago Mm -hmm. and it kind of pulled me out of it. I love my therapist. I trust her. She uses uh, DBT therapy and CBT therapy on me. Okay. For anxiety and OCD. And there's just been like a lot of things that I've been battling. I get scared in the winter to leave my house because of the germs. Right. And I could do... Uh, the BetterHelp online counseling right from the comfort of my own home. I use the app on my iPad right now. You could use it on your iPhone. You could use it on your computer. You can talk on the phone instead if that's what you want to do. You can text. And it's just been very, very helpful. Noelle, you've been having sessions with your guy too. I've had sessions with my guy. I have have a lot of similar problems, but... um, I just, I don't know. I feel like really overwhelmed sometimes and I just feel like I need to unload and just speaking about it and being reassured like, hey, you're not crazy. Your thoughts are your own thoughts sure. and you're, I've heard this so many times. Makes me feel better. Sure. Uh, it's secure. It's convenient. It's professional. Professional. No, <laughs> it's professional. It is professional <laughs> though. It's professional and affordable. See, I, I combine those two words. That's, That's who good. I am. Uh, best of all, it's truly an affordable option. Teen Mom Trash Talk listeners get 10% off your first month with discount code Trash Talk. So why not get started today? Go to BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Talk. You simply fill out the questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor that you will love. That's BetterHelp dot com slash Trash Talk. And I'll tell you, so many people have signed up for it. I know. And love it. I know. Yeah. We're starting like a crew. Yeah. No, like everyone does it. Like now, like... One of my friends, she's having a rough time. She just started. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And now, and now no, another one of my you girlfriends. Whisper, yeah. You can still hear it. Now another one of my girlfriends is going through a breakup, and she just asked me for the info too. Amazing. Yeah. Let's talk about Kaya. She, you love her. I think she's super sweet. She was in doggy style. She was <laughs> crying in pain by the nice couch, wailing on the couch. I'm like, do not, don't sit on the couch. Get your water. Yeah. On that couch. Yeah. Because it is mostly pee from a baby. Yeah, we which we learned. <laughs> um, so she, th- watching her wail like that made me feel like eye roll. Are you kidding? You're like one centimeter dying. Oh my God. You can't tell someone what pain they feel though. What am I allowed to say? Because you know, like you're not allowed to say anything. Like what am I allowed no, to say? No, you can <laughs> say that. But like, I feel like how are you going to tell me? Because I think she is, I like her. I think she's a little dramatic. I think she's scared too that's what i think most of it was because I, I think i would be like, crying because i'm scared she's probably crying because she's scared she's probably crying because she's never had pain like this before like that's terrifying to feel like that especially like you're forgetting that these kids are kids i do forget all the you're time you're like she's 35 years old i she, remember like, no. i used to judge chelsea so hard and you would be like noel she is 19 years old right it's like how were you when you were yeah 18? i know were you great no you're right thank god i didn't marry my boyfriend for when i was Ugh, 19 disgusting yeah so her mom was so nice and so calm she's the best this is why i like them though like yeah. i like the unit okay so they say a prayer in the car and mm-hmm. i thought that was super so cute did too, i because it's like okay hey let's just like her mom has total p- full control yeah it helps them just like be together and feel like grounded almost yes yep so she's super scared she's three hours into it and now she's gonna get the epidural 
and she got the epidural and mm-hmm. guess what it helped she felt fine yeah. she's like okay cool i feel numb from my she's tits like, down but so much <laughs> yeah and then she does her friend's eyebrows yeah because she feels so yeah. much better I thought that was really funny. So did I. They I were like, probably wow. like, let's distract her. Right. And she's like, all right, I'll do eyebrows. Listen, uh, do my eyebrows. Well, I'm going to make you pluck my mustache. Okay. <laughs> so she was afraid that her baby daddy's mom would show up. And yeah. I got to tell you, I would be afraid too. She would put me into early labor. She would have <laughs> been like, oh yeah, you're in labor. I'm going to rip the baby out of it. Right. She was aggressive. What did you say? Let's have a fist abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Seven hours into the labor and she's like, I feel a lot of pain or I feel something weird. And the doctor's like, well, because the head's almost out. That's right. what's going on and here. it's like, oh. So it's time to push. But I got to tell you, I hated how flat she was laying. Yeah, I did not like it at all, at all. I'm uh, like, you need an angle here. Uh-huh. She had a, did you see, she had a barf bag. Did she? Yeah. Was she barfing? No. Hmm. But she had it. So I think she might have been and they didn't show it. Maybe. Mm-hmm. So she, uh, Pushes the baby out. Uh Fairly good. Good job. Yeah. The baby had a cone head. It happens when you push a lot. Uh Uh-huh. And she names the baby. I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to faint, though. Okay. Amor Armani Nathaniel Elliott. Uh Uh-huh. It's a lot. She goes, that head is something serious. (laughs) The kid was like, he was cute. He was just like a little smush. Yeah. No, the kid, the, the head goes away. Yeah. So the baby daddy doesn't know yet. And it's like, well, how could she tell him he's in jail? She's got to wait for his No, it's call. true. And when I was first watching and I'm like, this bitch didn't even tell the father. And then I'm like, wait, how would she? How would she tell him? Yeah. She has to wait. Yeah. Tiffany wants to tell the grandmother and her mom's like really trying to be nice. But like, I also, on the other hand, kind of agree. Like, I understand why Kaya doesn't want her to tell her. Uh, I would tell her. No, no. I think that she yeah. should. But like, you have to kind of understand. Well, why she, she doesn't wa- want to tell her because she's a mental case. She's like, what do you, you want her to come here? Yeah. And they're like, we just won't let her in. And it's like, then don't tell her. Yeah, I get that. But I would tell her. All right. Well, let's talk about Ashley and Bart. They've been broken okay. up for a few weeks and she's planned a girl's trip to Vegas. Mm-hmm. She has on all of the eyebrows. Oh, her eyebrows are full on. Love it. Yeah. She's like, listen, I need some booty shorts. I need to get to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Then they have a flashback mm-hmm. of the birthday party that Ashley threw for Barr. With Shen showing up. Shen goes. You ready? Mm-hmm. This is a classic Shen quote. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, my God. I love this so much. She goes, we came to celebrate a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that was shen i remember the first time i saw shen at ashley's baby shower and i was like who the hell is uh-huh. that and then we spoke to bar and we're like what's your mom's name and she's like he's like shenandoah and we're like what why why and we're like what's your name Bari? then he's like i have to go <laughs> <laughs> he's got no car he's got no job he is what uh, he is everything Tracy hates in a man. He is the most un. He's unmotivated. Motivated he doesn't even ever. have a reason too, because she's talking to him about it, and he just has no reasoning for it. It was just so awful. So <laughs> anyway, bars in a in a uh, restaurant with Holly. Yes. I can't tell you how I love Bar and Holly. Oh, they're it. adorable. He talks to her like she's a grown up, like you do, like I do. Yeah. That's why I loved it. So she's sitting next to him in a chair, and he's like, "Do would you want a high chair?" Right. And, and she's, she's like, like, no, no. He's like, uh-huh. are you sure you want a high chair? He's like, cause I know you're going to get angry. And she's like, dad, shut up. <laughs> I know. It's like, I'm 17. Please stop right. talking to me like right. this. And he's like, yeah, but it's months old. <laughs> she's like, whatever. Get away from she, me. He still has that damn duck tail too. I can't with I that. Know. Well, and this is pre uh, eyebrow tattoo. No, I know. I can't wait to see the eyebrow tattoos. Come on. That mental Every illness. episode. I'm like, this is going to be the episode. I can't. Wait, because I know he gets it, and like Holly's like on his chest while he gets it, or something. Uh huh. It's like you want to watch Daddy get his face tattooed. You want to watch Daddy have a nervous breakdown right in front of you. <laughs> 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 I could just imagine Holly at BetterHelp, like having her online counseling Seriously. session years later, going like, "What was the exact moment where you knew that your life was going to be different than other people?" And she's like, "Well, I, I don't know if this is true. I think my dad was feeding me clams on a half shell. No, wait." <laughs> Hold on. Wait, no. I was laying on his chest. And now everyone says I don't remember this, but like. I remember clear as day. He was getting tattoos across his forehead. Mm -hmm. It's like, that can't be true. And it's like, no, no, no. Look at the picture of my dad. Yeah, no, it's real. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. 
Ashley's makeup is perfect. Okay. Ashley looks so gorgeous. She right does. There. Between her makeup and her hair. Yeah, she looks great. Let's say, though, if I had braids in my hair. Yes. The part is all the way at the end. Yeah. I felt like they kept falling in her face. And that would drive me. That would insane. drive me also. insane. That's what I mean. It would just drive me insane. Like it's a look. She for sure. looked amazing. She looks so good. Yeah. And she's like, listen, here's the thing. How do you feel that everyone in your life is passing you by? Right. And he's like, oh, I don't know. He's like, word. And she goes to Pastor T's house. Yeah. Pastor T makes this chicken that I was like dying for. She really? I don't remember She puts chicken in the this. oven. It was just like a roasted, beautiful, yeah. golden chicken. Why didn't I look at this? I don't know. And she has all, I have uh, Le Crusette pots. Yeah. The blue ones, she has the same ones. Oh, like the roasters. Yep. You should ask her for the recipe. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Brianna. Okay. Okay. I'm confused. I'm very confused by all of this. I feel like there's a... a there has to be a hole in this story. There has to be. Okay. So she hasn't heard from Brayson's dad, but the girlfriend reached out and said, listen, we're going to send you money, but we're not going to be in his life. So she's like, well, uh, I need to talk to him about this. Right. So she and, leaves- she, sa- and she goes, he didn't want the kid anyway. And it's like, right. That's not what happened. So she leaves a message mm-hmm. with the guy and she said that she's going to call him again tomorrow. Right. So her mom braids her hair. I can't believe she washed her hair. I, I was shocked. Do you know why? Because, spoiler alert on Teen Mom 2, Brianna had her hair washed. I know. It was weird. It was like both Brianna's washed their hair. It's like they hair. heard us. Uh-huh. So, the dad of Brayson texts her and says, listen, I'm going to send money, but I don't want to be in his life. Right. And it's like, well, since when? So, she's like, yeah, well, he's being a little bitch. Right. And this is two weeks after the paternity test. Right. So she has not heard from the dad. So the girlfriend texts again and is like, leave me alone. And then she goes, leave me alone or something bad's going to happen to you. I know, like threatening her. So it's weird because, number one, she did not want the father to be in his life. Right. So you're kind of so why is she upset now? So you're kind of getting what you wanted, right? But I guess she changed her mind somewhere around the when she found out who the dad actually was. I guess, and also like she was like, "Oh, my life is going to change. I don't know if I like this, but they're going to send you money, right?" So what she needs to do is she just needs to file for child support. She has the paternity test, and she can get child support from. Well, that's the thing. It's like okay, so he doesn't ever have to see the child, but he should pay for the child. Yes, because Mm -hmm. you're clearly struggling, and your storyline is basically that you're poor. Pretty much, yeah. The child support can pay for your daycare, and then boom. There so you go. I guess I don't know. I guess his girlfriend, who was the one that pushed him to find yeah, out, yeah. But if like, it there's, was like his? I said, there's a hole in this. Yeah, story. I don't know. So the mom's like, "Listen, don't contact him anymore." Meanwhile, she has like the worst cold ever. I was like, "Why are you?" No, I know. Woman? It's like, why are you speaking? She said that she was living her happy life with her son. And I don't think he that came was very happy there. Like. And it's like very happy. You you got fired from 25 jobs. Yeah. You moved into like, come on. You couldn't stop talking about how broke you were. And now they have a cat. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what is up. How with are these you paying people. for cat food? Right. Well, that's like the brokest people. How do they afford their cigarettes? And their tattoos. Right? And their tattoos. Oh, Brianna. Mm-hmm. I know. Okay. Teen Mom 2 season 9 episode 29. Let's start with Chelsea. All right. It's Aubrey's 10th birthday. Which is pretty wild to me. Cole's taking her and her friends to a ninja class. Okay. I thought it was going to be very different uh, than okay. that. Okay. Listen. So they're ta- he's taking her to a ninja warrior class. I've never heard of this. And I'm thinking she's going to have these Chinese stars. Right. Um, she gonna everyone's going to be really quiet. Right. Going to wear all black. Yeah. Yeah. Stealthy. Yeah. What was this? This was like a gymnastics so class. So this was basically CrossFit. If you tell me. That Aubrey's not going to be gay. Okay. You're lying. Aubrey asked for a CrossFit birthday party. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you just can't get gayer But than that's that. what I mean. And listen, I'm not shaming her. I love her. If anything, she's my favorite of Chelsea's Okay, one children. other gayer idea for your birthday is, uh, Dad, take us to Kiss Girls. Yes. Dad, watch me make out with this girl. Yeah, for my that birthday. would be gayer. Yes, but and other than that, and nothing. watch Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> like we already have all these flannels uh, in the house. I might as well be a lesbian. Seriously, <laughs> seriously, and that's great. You know what? I think that that would be great for Chelsea. Chelsea needs a gay. Chelsea kid. Chelsea needs yeah. a gay kid. This is gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. She gets a cookie cake, which is the worst kind of cake. Okay, tell me why you think that. Because I have had a Mrs. Fields cake, pretty good. 
<laughs> it's pretty is good. Is it cake though? Or is it just a cookie? No. So it's like a big smushy chocolate chip cookie with that fake uh, delicious frosting uh, on it that Tracy hates so much. I ate a cake from Costco the other day oh, or from BJ's gross. and I thought of you. Gross. Where'd it you was eat it? so good at Fairy's house. Uh-huh. It was one of the kids' birthdays. Oh, and they got a sheet cake? And they, they got a sheet well, cake. And when I tell you, that's how you know you don't love your kids. Half chocolate, <laughs> half vanilla. No, it was so good. And no. I ate two slabs of both. Yeah. I didn't feel good afterwards. Yeah, because you know why? why? God punished you for eating garbage. Yeah, I mean, listen, he might have, but this is who I am. This is how God made me. <laughs> no, this is how your father made you a clam on a half shell. <laughs> she couldn't make a fun funny bo- box cake? I know. I was surprised she got it. Because you know why? It's so what? weird because guess what uh, Aubrey's favorite cake is? What? Box cake. Box cake. Oh, ba 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 Chelsea Grace is there. So, Chelsea Grace... What's going on? A labradoodle. She looks like a labradoodle middle-aged mother. Like, what was this? Okay, so she goes there for Mm -hmm. cake for Aubrey's birthday and basically is like, wow, that's so crazy that her dad is such a piece of shit. It's like, he was never even nice to you when Aubrey was born. Thanks so much, Chelsea. Shut the fuck up. Chelsea Grace is going to get karate ninja chopped by Aubrey one day. Yeah. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. They take uh, the kids and Laura right. to her dad's cabin for a few hours. Right, which is random. For a few hours, too. It's like, cool. okay. So they didn't call. But nobody's face moves. Did you notice this? Okay, let me tell you something. <laughs> Papa Rand uh-huh. was probably like, hey, guys, if you want to have a Botox party real quick for Aubrey's 10th. Right. You can like, mosey on down to my <laughs> cabin and I will make sure that you never have a facial expression ever again. Nothing happens. It was Chelsea talking to her friend. What's her friend's name? Laura. Chelsea and Laura. They w- had no expressions when they were speaking to each other. How could they? It was like, yeah, Ada's Harold. Yeah, I hate Ada. Ada's Harold. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And they were all Botoxy. <laughs> so Adam or his family did not call Aubrey for their for her birthday. Right. They probably have them blocked somehow. Of course. He, please. Anyway, mm-hmm. she's like, Adam has no girlfriend, no job, and he sleeps all day. I don't know why they would tell Aubrey that. And it's like, shut up, Chelsea. It's like you love that they told Aubrey that. You know what? If they wouldn't have, you would have. <laughs> True. So now they're going to go on a double date with a couple that... They paid to be there. Right. Right. So they go to a restaurant that no one's there. It's an empty restaurant for like a cooking lesson. I right. Guess. But they just sit there. So anyway, on the way there, Chelsea's like, oh, my God, if there weren't cameras, they'd totally give you a blow job. And Cole's like, so then shut the cameras off. And he's like, she's like, remember when I blew you in the, the car, car wash? wash? Yeah. And he's like, OK, but you're still on camera. Right. And she's like, I don't care. I'm edgy. I'm a fashion designer. I wear Ramones t-shirts. I have flannel everywhere. I'm wearing hats now (laughs) because someone told me I could. Hats and flannel. And we wonder where where Aubrey gets it from. Uh, (laughs) So they're making a panzanella salad. Yum. I love panzanella salad. And they're sitting there and Donna calls and it goes to voicemail. Noel, tell me what's going on here. So Donna calls and so... Uh, Chelsea's like, oh, they probably uh, want more time with Aubrey and they probably want like Adam to see Aubrey. And then her friend's like, no. Yeah. I think that they want to tell you that Adam never wants to see her again. Yeah, I mean, it, right. Adam wants to sign him, or sign her over. And it's like, and Cole's like, stop talking about this. I don't want to hear the voicemail. And it's like, everyone shut up. Yeah, and she's also like, I read the voicemail. And it's like, shut up. And he's I like, but I don't want to listen to it. You. She's like, no, 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 I read it. Right, like, you don't have to listen to it, Cole. Okay, also, also, shut up. Why are you talking about this at dinner? You could just say nothing. And also, just, like, why your is it your, why is it the other couple's business? She probably got anxious because she saw a carb. She, that's true. <laughs> definitely got anxious. A lot of people have anxiety. There's different ways to treat anxiety. And let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. CBD oil has been helping me clear my head and helping me feel my best. Awesome. It's been proven to reduce anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. Mm-hmm. But you know what's really confusing? Mm-hmm. Knowing what CBD oil to buy. No idea what kind to buy. How would you even know? Like people are like selling fake CBD oil. There's like, it's just so confusing. I don't know where to start. I honestly don't. But you know what I've been using? I've been using Feels. F-E-A-L-S. Ooh. Yeah, it's premium CBD and it's delivered directly to my doorstep. It naturally helps reduce my stress, my anxiety, my pain, and my sleeplessness. I place just a few drops of Feels under my tongue and I feel the difference within minutes. 
awesome. So this is the cool part about feels. So you might not know what strength that you need. Right. So you can get like this little flight. You know what a flight is? Yeah. Like a flight of beer. Yes. It's like this little sampler pack and you could try all of the different uh, strengths. Right. It's like little perfume vials. Yes, yep. exactly. And you can take them, you place a few drops on your tongue and then you figure out like what strength works for you. I really like that they have human support. Like you can call them and just like talk to them and like ask them questions. That's my favorite. They have a CBD hotline. Ooh. Yeah. You could text message support. Uh, you feel better naturally. Feels works naturally to help you feel better. There's no high or hangover or addiction. And they have a membership. Okay. So you could join the feels community to get the feels delivered to your door every month. And then you'll save money on every order and you could pause or cancel it at any time. Awesome. Feels has me feeling my best every day and it could help you too. Become a member today by going to feels.com, F-E-A-L-S.com slash trash talk and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. That's feels.com, F-E-A-L-S.com slash trash talk to become a member and get 50% off automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash trash talk. Awesome. You know who could use a little bit of feels? Who? Jade. Uh, Jake needs more than feels, but yes. Jade's parents just got out of jail. Right. So she is giving Sean a celebratory hair and beer cut. Right. And Chloe's sitting at her high chair playing with her toothbrush. Uh huh. Do you know how much anxiety this gives me? Tell me why. Because she's going to brush her teeth with that afterwards. No. I watched Rescue 911 when I was about <laughs> 12 years old. This is why you are the way you are. Yeah. Your mother should have watched the TV a little more. You weren't allowed to watch 902 and 0, but you were allowed to watch Rescue 911. We were big into Rescue 911 oh, in my house. Bad. Okay. So, <laughs> do you remember the show? Yeah. With the reenactment? Yes. Okay. So, s there's a kid uh -huh. playing with their toothbrush. Uh huh. They fall down. Their uh. toothbrush gets lodged in their throat and they're bleeding. Uh. You can't pull the toothbrush out because then it will like profusely bleed. No, no, Noel. I know that you're feeling faint. I am too. This is what I'm telling you. I don't feel good at all. So they call 911. 911's like, do not remove that toothbrush. Uh -huh. And they have to go to the hospital and remove the toothbrush. I'm like, what if she lodges it in the back? Like, this is a stick. Right. Also, I mean, doesn't she have a toy? Yeah, like, don't <laughs> make her... Is it, and she's also not brushing her teeth. Right. Like, what are you doing? Right. Oh, my God. Anyway, she's full of boogers. Mm -hmm. She's uh, just snotting everywhere. Uh, that's the kind of kid I never want to have. I don't even want to. Like, I've seen Jade's kid in real life. Uh -huh. I wish I never looked. Oh, I know. And not because she's ugly, just because I think I got a germ. No, I know. You did get a germ. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So she's back to beauty school, and mm -hmm. she's talking with her friend from beauty school, and they're eating some, like, pastry from Starbucks, yeah. and they're chewing, and I have no clue what they're saying. But they wouldn't stop chewing loudly. Right, and it's like, maybe... This is just like a note to MTV. Right. Maybe like eating and talking yeah. is not the best. No. Like here's the thing. Swallow. Okay. So we recently filmed something together. Yeah. And they were like, okay, so we're going to film you guys going to dinner and eating. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and talking? Right. So which one? Do you want me to eat or do you want me to talk? Right. Because I can't do both. Okay. Just checking. Mm -hmm. So then they were like, okay, I guess just talking. I was like, right. <sighs> they probably would have paid for our meal. I mean, they probably would have. We probably like, could have gone to a real steakhouse. I just feel like I get so scared. We could have taken all the food home. Oh. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. So her friend says, this is a quote, he just be watching her? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, well, Jade is basically saying that she's supporting Sean. Right. So she also like... He doesn't have money for like but food But he did stuff. have a job. He, a fast food job right. that he lost, I guess. Probably from the drugs. So his her parents' case got dropped and they were in jail for like four or five days. Right. Turns out, I know you're going to be surprised at this, mm -hmm. Sean is behind on rent. No way. So the landlord calls Jade and he's been late for two months and he hasn't been in contact. So he's not even telling them like it's going to no, come. No, he's one of those people that ghost. Yeah, he. Mm -hmm. you can't ghost your landlord. You're living in their house. They know where you are. I have a friend that does that right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. He has six days to pay mm -hmm. and she's like, well, good and luck with that. he owes like $1,500. It's not yeah. like he owes $300. Right. She goes, good luck and he gets pissed. 
I know. He, this guy is so defensive. It's yeah. unbelievable. She's like, he's like, what the hell does that mean? She's like, I mean, it means good luck. Right. Then he's like, okay, I love you. He says <laughs> that he's going to make a few phone calls and get the money. Right. I'm sure. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Is he going to call Brianna? Uh, I mean, probably. Okay. Good. Yeah. She, okay. So Jasmine and Jade take Jasmine's baby to the mall. Right. A mirror. And they, <laughs> and they yeah. go to Bang Bang. Right. That's, of course, they went to Bang Bang. And she's like, well, you know, I think I'm going to have to pay Sean's rent. So and now the next Everybody's scene, like, what are you, stupid? <laughs> the next what scene is, is this neon yellow thing she was looking at? It too. was like a dress that had feathers on the sleeves. Okay. It was Big Bird. Okay. Jade is covered in orange bronzer mm-hmm. and she paid his rent. Mm-hmm. But you know what? What I think Miguel's gonna pay his water and gas. So, uh, but that that was the icing on the cake, and it was like, oh well, you know, Jade. <laughs> while, while you're, you're at, at it, it, right? I don't have any water or gas, and she's like, okay, but you can't not have water because you can't use the bathroom. And he's like, true, yeah, true. Okay, I guess I'll just stay with you. And it's like also she she gets angry, but she's always so monotone. So I can never yes. tell if she's really, she's angry. like, okay, Sean, I mean, I guess I will have to pay for your rent too. So how will I get the money back, Sean? That's what I'm asking you. She, yeah, that's her. She said that, uh, Sean was being extra rude by the way. And this is her, what um, else is new? her quote is, how are you going to get my money back? How about this? Mm-hmm. Stop having so many houses. Yeah, I mean, how about have one place? When you moved out of that place, you should have told them to take my name off the lease. That would have been the first thing okay, I did. Why do you there. move out of your house? Right. That's another thing. Right. Let's talk about Brianna. Lewis comes by randomly. And that doesn't that doesn't send your radar going. Like, why is this guy suddenly here? You know? Nope. Come on. So <laughs> he said that he's gonna go back to trucking. So he wants to come and say goodbye to Stella. Right, I'm sure. And Brittany sure. says he never even said hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. So her beauty studio is almost finished. And what sh- I love is Shirley's getting her teeth whitened. Yes. Papa Randy. Yeah. Wrote on Twitter. What do you write? That doesn't even work. Oh my God. Stop it. He He's did? like that ultraviolet light doesn't even work to whiten teeth. And someone was like, how do you know? And he's like, I went to <laughs> dental school. <laughs> it was so funny. I saw it this morning. Someone wrote, how do you know? Yes. And he was like, I went to dental school. He's like, I'm a he's like, uh, he's like a thing called dental school. I love Randy. Yeah. I just, I had to tell you that because I didn't write it here and I didn't want to forget. He throws yes. so much shade. I love him. He was like, just an FYI that <laughs> ultraviolet light does nothing to white. Oh my God. We teeth. have to get Randy on yes. this podcast. So Lewis, I know you're going to be shocked, but he wants some money. He says, and this is a quote, I'll pay you back with interest if I have to. Okay, I mean, you wouldn't pay her back anything because you don't even pay child support. You're not going to pay anything. So he wants $1,500. So she sends it via an app, so probably the cash app. Right. And she goes, I don't know if or when I'm going to get paid back. You're never going to get paid back. Okay, but maybe that's a discussion too. Right. Maybe be like, okay, if I give you this money, why don't you sign this paper saying that I gave you this money and you're going to pay me back X amount in... Like, come on. Sure. I mean, he was grooming her for this money. Let me be nice to the kid. For one day. Swath, for one it's day. so gross. He's disgusting. I hate him. So Roxy said it's good that she gave him the money. Listen, I think that Roxy just wants everyone to have peace with each other. She does. And it's like, as much as everybody's like, well, Brianna's the way she is because of Roxy. I think that Roxy's really nice. I think she's I super do. nice. She's I think just she's like, too nice. She's positive. Very yes. positive. So Lewis comes in. Hi. Gross. Hi. And the kid's like, get the fuck She's away. She's like, from okay, me. how about this? I'm going to give you a wee wee pad. Mm-hmm. She's like, here you go. And he's like, pad? And it's like, what? So Brianna's like, well, I think I'm going to have to switch her daycare because it's $245. He's like, a week or a month. It's like, what do you think? And it's like, yeah, I pay $6 a week for my kid to right. go to daycare. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jerk. So he's like, she's like, you know, I really wish you were around more. He's like, well, I guess I'll call her or FaceTime her or something. I can't. The way he speaks, like he doesn't even see a problem with no. it. So they leave Stella with Lewis and Roxy. Mm-hmm. And Stella throws herself on the floor in like child's pose. Yes. And is like, no. Nope. And he's like, I'm leaving. Yeah. He did not wait for for Brianna to get into the elevator before nope. he left. And Lewis leaves and Stella goes, well, he left. Bye. <laughs> mm-hmm. So Brianna's in the car legit crying. I felt bad for her. I did too. Because she's like, all she wants is like good for her kids. I know. Yeah. She's like, I love my kids so much. This is like so crazy. Anyway, Stella doesn't believe in pants. Yeah, she doesn't believe in pants. I've never seen her in pants. That's you. 
I know. Yeah. She, Brianna said Lewis is a waste, and Roxy's like, "Don't say that." And it's like, "Oh, it's kind of true." And she's like, "Well, it is true, Mom." <laughs> it's uh, all the way true. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Kale. There's really not that much going on. Yeah, because later on, it's like Kale and Leah merged. Right. So yeah. now, uh, Kale's in her new house. They have a swing set. They're playing. Kids mm-hmm. are cute. Great. The dog is sick. Mm. She has to take him to the emergency vet. They're gonna keep him over the weekend. Run tests. Right. Her and Leah are going to go to the VMAs. Mm -hmm. What are these sunglasses on top of Kale's head? I don't know. I have to tell you, I don't know. Like, is she she Slash from Guns N' Roses? Yes, that is who she is. Anyway, so the vet calls and there's a mass on the dog's spleen and Kale, like, leaves the room. And she's crying. She's crying. It's It's so sad. sad. Yeah. And they have to see how the dog feels. She's super frustrated. She feels very guilty because she said this the dog was like basically shitting all over her house and she didn't know why. Well, you know what though? She thought the dog was being spiteful. And I'll tell you, and now I think about it, it's like all the times I think my dogs are being spiteful when I leave. It's like, well, what if it's not that? I know. You know? So anyway, it uh Leah's Let's talk about Leah because that's okay. The, I was like, what just happened? Anyway. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the girls are again on Leah's phone, and Leah is like, "Come on, guys, get this storyline's getting really repetitive." Oh, my it's God. been her storyline literally the whole season. Yep, they're still fighting about dads. Mm-hmm. She's like, "Don't read my text because what if I was talking to your dad?" They're like, "You don't even talk to our dad." Right. Anyway, Jeremy has not made a date with her yet, but she, Leah's gonna take Addie to Jeremy's house. Right. She has the longest acrylics. She really does. So Leah and Addie go to Jeremy's and Addie comes in the room and goes, you don't want to miss the sunset with you two kissing. I mean, that was silly. So he asked her to dinner. Right. And his, she said, he said that his mom is going to watch Addie when they go to dinner. Uh huh. And the next day or whatever. Right. Does Jeremy have visitation with Leah and Addie? Yes. Just checking if he had the custody in that. So she has to go on a date with Jeremy. So she's, um, she talks on the phone with her friend. Right. Great. Stop telling the kids stuff. Okay. Why does... I get that you're like a single mom, right? And that you have like girls and it's like a girl house and it's fun and it's safe, but there has to be a line. Yeah. And there is no line. There's no line. hmm <sighs> Anyway, so she puts on a ton of makeup for her date and mm-hmm. she finds out that Jeremy's grandpa's in the hospital. He's in a ambulance with... The- that but that wasn't the whole convo when he called her, right? Definitely not. That and also, so like, botched. it didn't very sound very ambulance. No. Um, I really liked her duvet. It was like a dark floral. Yes, but it Me looked too. like there was no comforter in Mm-mm. it. It was just straight up duvet. Right. Yeah. So anyway, now they go to the VMAs. Uh huh. What happened to Leah's makeup? Um, I think that as you would say, Helen Keller put it on. Uh huh. Uh huh. It looked like she got in an accident. Why did she look like that? She got in an accident. Mm -hmm. She got in an accident with orange bronzer. That's what she got into an accident with. It was oily though. It it looked like she was in a truck. Uh In the back of the truck Uh was three cases of baby oil Uh and four cases of orange bronzer. No, Do you know that um, (sighs) there's this oil that like you put on your legs? It's like a shimmer oil. Oh, I know what that oil is. My brother-in-law's ex girlfriend used to use it. It was like very expensive. Yep. It's like some kind of brand name. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's yes. like a shimmery, like, and you put it on your leg. It's on it's, Leah's face. It's orange oil. Yeah. That's what's on her face. It is on her face. They were like, okay, instead of primer, we're going to use this orange oil mm-hmm. that's scented and sparkled. Did you see the girl who did her makeup? Her, no. sh- her skirt mm-hmm. was under her boob. Yeah. You got to look at your makeup skirt. artist properly. Yeah. Yeah, she looks slow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, wow. Am I not allowed to say that either? You could say it. Okay, say it again. Slow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you're following us on Instagram and Twitter at Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram, Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter. You could follow me, your host, mm-hmm. Tracy Carnazzo Ooh. at Trixie Tuzini, T R I X I E T U Z Z I N I on Instagram and Twitter, and you could check out my upcoming tour dates at tracycarnazzo.com. Yay! No well. Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at Noe underscore Bear eight ten or at Noe Girl on Twitter. Awesome. Okay. Yay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>